Now to our GMA cover story. We are roaring into 2020 with the biggest party on the planet right here in Times Square. Host Ryan Seacrest will join us again in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at some of the top moments from the past decade of New Year's Rocket Eve celebrations. 20 seconds. Just one more night until the streets of Times Square look like this. And as we gear up for the 48th anniversary of the New Year's Rock and Eve show, Ryan Seacrest about to lead us through it for the 15th time. To say goodbye to 2010 and welcome in the new year. Of course, we can't end the decade without looking at the beginning of it. Now here is the chairman of the board. And there's the man that started it all, Dick Clark, the last show the two had together. Going into 2015, Taylor Swift tried to shake it off in this cold. Are you not freezing? I'm, I'm absolutely freezing. This was the wrong choice. And managed to do it with some help. Oh my God! We're stuck in the elevator, everybody. <laughs> can't forget this classic right from our studios here at GMA. We're supposed to be on Good Morning America, but we can't get there. And going into 2018, all I want for Christmas is a blanket and some hot chocolate. And as we near the end, sometimes it does rain on this parade. But rain or shine, we'll still be rocking on. <laughs> We're rocking on with Ryan Seacrest right now. So that was pretty cool to take a look back at all of the, the years you've been doing this. Yeah, the, the hairstyles, hairstyles yeah. the coats, the fashion choices. Right. But seriously, what moments stand out for you when you look back? Watching that, there's so many great flashbacks. And in the moment, it was panic. But, uh, you know, when it pours rain like last year, you wonder, will everything work? Will we still be transmitting on the air? And fortunately, we were. I remember that... Um, that time we got stuck in the elevator, I think it was three years ago. It was ago. three years ago, really? actually. This is your three-year anniversary from, from being stuck in the elevator. So, <laughs> just so we're clear, we're that's the elevator, elevator inside a drugstore that you have to take to, to get to the ball. <laughs> and who knew that's the route? Uh, Dick never told me about that when I signed on. <laughs> So interesting we, omission. We got in and we were stuck there for 45 minutes, but it was really relaxing. And no one panicked. It was relaxing. Yeah, no one could bother us. It was kind of nice. What were you doing for those 45 minutes? I, I was on my phone. I had signal. <laughs> so I, I, I was not on Bumble, but I was on my phone. <laughs> Now, do you take the stairs? I that? like to take this. I take the stairs here. Yes, yeah. I did it's this morning. A, it's a smart call. <laughs> it's a, it's a smart time. call. All right, so you've said, and this is pretty cool, this is your 15th year yes. hosting the show, which is pretty remarkable. We actually have some video of you doing your very first one back in 2006. Okay. I warn you. Oh, there you are in the studio with Mariah Carey. What do you remember most about that night? Were you nervous? Oh, I was terrified. I mean, you're, you're stepping into a show that is such a franchise with a legend, Dick Clark, who's built this. He said, all right, I think you could be the guy that works with me. And all I wanted to do was prove myself in that year and be invited back. So I think that as Mariah was talking and as I was working, I wasn't paying attention to a thing. I was, my heart was pounding You could hear so your heart pounding well, in your head. And the scale of this show is unlike anything that's broadcast because you're over all these different blocks. It's outside. There's, there's a million people who've been waiting all day who have not used the restroom. So it's intense. <laughs> a lot's riding on your shoulders A, a lot there. is, yeah. All right, so speaking of that, you do have quite the year this year, quite a lineup of performers. Tell us who we can expect to see. We have, uh, this show has grown so much. We've got the whole country covered. So we'll be here. Lucy Hale is going to co-host with me here in Times Square, which is great. She's fantastic. So I'm excited about that. We'll have Sam Hunt, BTS. Uh, they are incredibly popular. Yes, so they are. So they'll be in Times Square <laughs> live with Just their a few fans. people might show up for that. I, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine what it's like. Post Malone, you see there. Cool. He will be performing just before the ball drops. The Jonas Brothers in Miami will go live as soon as we get to 2020. We've got Sheryl Crow in New Orleans with Billy Porter. who will be hosting wow. Usher as well, performing down there. Uh, let's see, we've got the L.A. party with Sierra, and Dua Lipa's going to be there, and I, the list goes on and on and on, so everybody, salt and pepper, a little flashback, Paula Abdul. I love that. From the first oh, American Idol, she'll be there, too. Very cool. And you mentioned Lucy Hale. Any pointers for her? This is her first year. I just, just need pointers from me. I, <laughs> we're, we're throwing a party. We're out there to enjoy, to celebrate. The only thing that, that I'm told we really have to get right is midnight. Just get to midnight on time. <laughs> if we can get to midnight on time, we're good. Uh, that's a pretty solid advice right? there. I think yeah. she can stick with that. Last year, you told us your New Year's resolution was to go to uncle school because your niece was about to be born. Yes, yeah, how did that go? how popular uncle school is. It's very yeah. difficult to get in. <laughs> I don't know how that's going. I, I, was, I hosted my family for Christmas this year. My niece, uh, my sister and her husband, Jimmy, came and my niece came. And so I've, I've really learned how to hold Flora. Well, that's so good. I'm very comfortable. I was in the kitchen How about with changing Flora. diapers? I am not there yet. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I, You'll learn in like three I'm, years when she's out of them. Yeah, I'm not there yet. <laughs> so, okay, any resolutions for this year? I, I haven't really stuck to the resolution thing. I think that every year you, you just sort of, you want to streamline your focus and you want to spend more time in your own life. And I enjoy everything that I do so much. I think I just want to, I want to keep on doing what I'm doing. I have a resolution for both of us that okay. we can do jointly. Is it about? Go to a Georgia game where we team? win. I know. How about and, that? And embarrassingly, we both went to our alma mater football game, the, the Bulldogs, and at that game, and they always win. At your game, they lost. Yeah. At my game, we're the jinx. So, we're the, we're going to break the jinx I, this I'm year. I'm not invited back. I don't think. <laughs> but we, maybe we, together but we, we can be stronger. Yes, I think so. All right, you it, hear that? But we congratulate them, and uh, we hope that they have another good season next year. And they're, Go they're dogs. still fighting. Yeah. Go dogs! All right, and we're so excited about New Year's Rock and Eve. Thank you. It's gonna Are you going to be, gonna be home watching? Show. I'm going to be home watching. Watching. Like it'll be in the background. For By the sure. way, it doesn't matter. Put it on <laughs> forever. Turn it on. Put it. <laughs> Put it in the background, it just like this fire can be. It's totally fine. We don't mind. Just have it. Just have it on. I love it. That's right. Be sure to tune in to Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve with Ryan Seacrest, 2020, tomorrow night, starting at 8 p.m. Starts Eastern, in a few hours. Right here at ABC. Thank you as always, Ryan. Great to see you. Happy New Year. Nice to Thank see you. you. Happy New Year to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.